Okay, in question number 10, we are asked to find out the smallest perfect square which is divisible by these numbers 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 18, 30 and 60. So again in this type of question we will take the LCM of the given numbers. In order to find out LCM we can also try to simplify the process by considering the highest number among the given ones. So 60 is the highest one and we'll check if the this highest number is divisible by the given numbers or not so we know that it is divisible by 2 it is divisible by 3 4 6 9 does not divide 60 because 9 times 6 is 54 and we are left with a remainder of 6 similarly 18 doesn't divide 60 because 18 times 3 is 54 again remainder is 6 30 divided 60 because 30 times 2 is 60 Okay, so now any multiple of 60 which is divisible by 18 and 30 becomes our uh, LCM. So let's have a look. 60 into 1 is 60, obviously. 60 times 2 is 120. But is 120 divisible by 9 and 18? No, it is not. So we'll proceed again. 60 times 3 is 180. Yes, 180 is divisible by both 9 and 18. And it is obviously divisible by the other numbers as well. So, uh, 180 becomes your answer. But whether or not it is a perfect square, is it? 180 is not a perfect square because uh, 15 square is 225. 14 square is 196. And 13 square is 169 so it is falling somewhere between 13 square and 14 square it is not a perfect square but since we have to consider a number which is divisible by these numbers as well as well as it is a perfect square so we will consider the multiples of 180 right so 180 times 1 is 180 it is not a perfect square 180 times 2 is 360 but is 360 a perfect square no because 360 can be written as 6 square into 10 this will give you a perfect square but 10 is not a perfect square hence 360 is also not a perfect square we will proceed further 180 times 3 is 540 is it a perfect square again this is not a perfect square and uh, similarly we will proceed further 180 times 4 is 720 again this is also not a perfect square you have to keep checking for the perfect squares as well so 720 you will write it as 8 into 9 into 10 you know that 9 can be 9 will give you a perfect square that is of 3 but 8 is not a perfect square similarly 10 is not and in 540 as well you have to do the same thing okay let's consider the next multiple 180 times 5 is 900 is 900 a perfect square we will write 900 as 90 into 10 then you can write it as 90 into 9 into 10 into 10 hence it can be written as 3 square into 10 square because 9 is what 3 square so you take a perfect root of it you get 3 into 10 so hence 90 is a perfect square the square root of 900 is 30 so 900 becomes your smallest perfect square which is also divisible by the given numbers to us Hence, this is the way to find out the answer to such problems. If you like my lecture, please subscribe to my channel. You can also provide me feedback in the comment section so that I can make the required changes and improve the quality of videos as well as the content. You can also join my Facebook group as well as my Facebook page uh, where I provide regular updates as well as regular PDFs and test on a regular on a daily basis. I have Telegram uh, channel as well as Telegram group also. You can join those also. There I provide regular PDFs as well as regular tests. The name of Facebook and Telegram groups and channels is Success RBI or Success SBI. There is a mobile app also. The name of the app is Infinity. You can join that app. You can download that app and that will allow you to take quizzes just like you take a quiz in the real scenario when you go and take the examination, the government examinations. So that will help you get, get a better idea and take regular quizzes of phase 1 for RBI as well as SBI.